Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and the latest news on WWE 2K23 where today we have the reveal of brand new entrance videos, new screenshots and the reveal of the WWE 2K23 soundtrack plus we also have a teaser for a new legend. Before we get into that though, if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all the latest news on WWE 2K23 then please do hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on future videos. So let's start off with news of this year's soundtrack as 2K have published the WWE 2K23 soundtrack on Apple Music. The soundtrack contains a total of 12 songs totaling 43 minutes and was created by the WWE 2K23 cover star John Cena. To run through the list of songs that are featured we have Sad But True by Metallica, Music Sessions Volume 52 by Bizarrap and Cuvido, Vegas by Doja Cat, SUVs by Luciano, can't Stop by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Raymond and OJ by Joyner Lucas and Lil Baby, Jack by Hardy, No More Tears from Bullet For My Valentine, Dame Lou by Dave V and Omar Court, Shipwreck from Let Down, Grounds by Idols and Take What You Want by Post Malone featuring Ozzy Osbourne and Travis Scott. So I know I probably butchered a lot of those names, this is not a lot that I'm familiar with, though listening to the soundtrack ahead of creating this video, it does sound very 2K as it's less 2K22 and more like the 2K games from 2K15 all the way to 2K20. One standout track was Metallica's Sad But True, which is the first song on the album as I'd never heard this before today, but it's the song that was sampled to create Kid Rock's American Badass song that was used for The Undertaker, so if you haven't heard it before, definitely give that one a listen. As for who picked the soundtrack, this year's soundtrack was chosen by John Cena with this being the second time that he's chose the soundtrack as he also picked the songs for 2K15 when he also appeared as the cover star. Moving on, next up we have a new screenshot to share as celebrating Valentine's Day the WWE Games Twitter account released a new shot of Bret Hart while wishing everyone the best Valentine's Day there is, was and ever will be. Comparing the screenshot with Brett's model from 2K22, it appears to be the same one that was used last year as the model and the attire look to be the same, though to be fair I don't think we can really expect new models for the legends every year and Brett's model already looks good so I don't really see a problem with that. As for new content though, following the reveal of Bret Hart, the WWE Games Twitter account went on to share a brand new entrance video where they revealed the full entrance for NXT's Grayson Waller. Now the feedback on this one has been amazing as everyone seems really happy with his model, I think it looks great and even Grayson Waller himself seems to think so as he commented on the reveal giving his approval. Given how good the model looks, I think this is just another example of how much better the models look now with improvements to the scanning tech as like we've seen with Cody, the most recent models look much more lifelike than the ones that were scanned initially. As for the attire, I've seen a few people asking about this one and when it was taken from and from what I can find it's the one that he wore for NXT 2.0 on November 2nd 2021 which coincidentally is also the show that Bron Breaker's attire is taken from so there could be a few other NXT stars with attires from that event. Next up we have some more entrance videos to share as the latest episode of the WWE 2K Showdown stream revealed two new entrances, the first of which belonged to Cora Jade. Taking a look at Cora's entrance, we see her enter the arena on a skateboard just like the clip that we've seen in the gameplay trailer with Cora then jumping off the board and running down to ringside. As we mentioned in the gameplay breakdown, we're not getting the heel version of Cora as Cora's heel turn happened too late to make the cut, instead we're getting the face version of Cora whose attire is taken from a match that she had with Natalia in May of last year. Judging by the footage, Cora's model is another one that looks incredibly lifelike thanks to the new scanning tech though the biggest question that I have is whether or not we'll be able to use the skateboard as a weapon as that would be a cool option to have for breakouts. Moving on to the next reveal, the showdown stream also gave us our first look at Lita's entrance though this one is one that garnered a bit of backlash in the chat as while the entrance confirms we're getting a new model for Lita, the attire that she has is the same one she's had since 2K16. Given that Lita was removed from the game last year, a lot of fans did expect we'd see a new version of Lita when she made her return so seeing the same attire reused is yet again disappointing. Looking at comparison footage of her previous entrance from WWE 2K20 then despite the same attire being used you can definitely see there's a big difference in the model itself though it's unclear if Lita was scanned for the game as the new model doesn't look quite on par with the new models we've seen for Korra and Grayson Waller though that could also be down to the quality of the stream. 
I'd love to know what you make of Lita's model, so let me know in the comments if you think this is an improvement or if you preferred the old one. Along with the new entrance videos, the 2K Showdown stream also recapped the creation previews that were shown off last week, as following those previews, there's been a lot of talk from creators who are worried that skin textures mean face photos will be going away, however in response to that, word did come out during the week that all of the options would still be there. Cornell also mentioned this during the Showdown stream, though his comments on stream were more in relation to face morphing, where he confirmed that those options are still there. He also went on to share a new close-up shot of the male face, in which you can see how big a difference the new skin textures make, as this year players can choose to apply new scan textures which help give creations a more realistic look and help keep them on par with the in-game superstars. So that's the new media that was shared, however I do want to touch on another post from the WWE Games account, as earlier today the WWE Games Twitter account shared this image marking 30 days until release. While this image doesn't look to be too much initially, should you take a look at the day's text, then the background of this text shows a photo of John Cena and Wade Barrett. The inclusion of this photo is a pretty interesting one, as there's been plenty of speculation that Wade Barrett could be featured in the 2K showcase, though so far Barrett's name hasn't been mentioned. He was also absent from Monday's roster reveal, which listed the full game's roster, though if he is part of the 2K showcase, then that could have been intentional to keep his involvement a surprise. If Barrett is involved in the 2K showcase, then one match that we could see is the match he had with Cena at Hell in a Cell 2010, as that match seen Wade Barrett defeat Cena with a stipulation that Cena would have to join the Nexus. Going back to the photo that was used in the 30 days post, this appears to be taken from a United States Championship match that they had in April 2015, though that match was won by Cena, therefore it wouldn't be one used in the showcase, as all of the matches are matches that Cena lost. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with this, and whether or not Barrett is announced once the full showcase lineup is revealed. Staying with roster news, one other change that I wanted to cover was a change to the roster list that was posted on the WWE 2K website, as originally that list included Scarlet, which indicated she'd be a playable character, however now when you view the website, Scarlet's name has actually been removed, so it looks like she won't be playable after all. She will still be in the game though, as she'll be in as a manager, as this list only includes playable characters, which is why we don't see other managers like Paul Heyman. So that's the latest roundup of WWE 2K23 news, however we do have some reveals taking place tomorrow, as during the 2K Showdown stream, Cornell noted that there's a reveal taking place around the 2K Showcase, so we should get confirmation on the match list and the superstars involved, which should also confirm whether or not Wade Barrett made the cut. Once that news drops, I'll have full coverage on the channel, so keep a lookout for that, but in the meantime, thank you so much for watching this video, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.